Hello, welcome to this video. This time we are going to see how to prepare substrate for mushroom cultivation. For this, we will need the elements that we see on the screen. We'll start by filling the pot with substrate using a ratio of 1.5 to 2 part substrate for every 1 part mycelium. So, if we have 2 jars of mycelium, we'll add between 3 to 4 jars of substrate. In this case, I'm using just cocoa coir, but you can add vermiculite and other supplement if you want. Next, we'll slowly add water to hydrate the substrate. As we add the water, we need to stir the substrate to ensure it absorbs the moisture evenly until it reach field capacity. The substrate should be well hydrated, but without water pooling at the bottom of the pot. To check if it's ready, grab a handful of the hydrated substrate and give it a gentle squeeze. A small amount of water should drip out, but not too much. In my case, I prefer to hydrate the substrate well enough as it tends to lose some water during pasteurization. Next, turn on the burner and place the pot over low heat. Wait for the substrate to heat up to about 167 to 176 degrees Fahrenheit. Ideally, you'd use a thermometer, but it's not absolutely necessary. If you don't have one, you can wait until the substrate starts releasing a bit of steam. Once the substrate reaches the desired temperature, cover the pot with the lid and turn off the heat. Now, all that's left is to wait for it to cool down. After this time has passed, we need to disinfect all essential items. Our hands, the work surface, the plastic container, and the spoon. Once the alcohol has completely evaporated, we start loading the substrate into the plastic container. Before doing this, we can check if the substrate has the proper moisture level by grabbing a handful and squeezing it. A small amount of water should drip out, but not excessively. Initially, we load about 50% of the substrate and spread it evenly. Next, we open the jars of mycelium. The mycelium should be white and free of any bad smell. A bad smell indicates contamination and should be discarded. Fortunately, I have a completely healthy, contamination-free mycelium. Then, we begin transferring the mycelium from the jars into the container using the previously disinfected spoon. It's important that the spoon has cooled down, as a hot spoon could damage the mycelium. As we empty the jars, we need to break up the mycelium blocks and mix them evenly. Once all the jars are emptied and the mycelium is thoroughly mixed, we add 90% of the remaining substrate and spread it evenly across the surface. 
Next, use a fine mist spray to lightly moisten the surface of the substrate and the walls of the plastic container. Ideally, use distilled water or water that has been boiled and allowed to cool. It's worth noting that this step is optional and should only be done if you notice the substrate is slightly dry. Next, mix everything evenly with the spoon. This will ensure that each grain of rice becomes a colonization point, allowing the mycelium to spread quickly. Finally, we simply add the remaining substrate on top and spread it evenly to cover the grains. With about half a centimeter being sufficient, this is known as the pseudo-casing layer. This time, I was a bit short on substrate and didn't manage to cover the entire surface, but it's not that important. We can now close the lid and just leave the container in a dark place for about 7 days at a temperature between 75 to 79 degrees Fahrenheit or 24 to 26 degrees Celsius. After those 7 days have passed, we should have something like what we see on the screen. That's all for today. Give a thumbs up if you've learned something from this video and subscribe to the channel as I'll be posting more videos about my grows. Cheers!